Well, it's Tuesday. Oh boy. And we're, uh, when last we met, we did a show on um, gauges and how four feet, eight and a half inches ended up being the standard gauge, uh, mostly in, in the largest part of the world, which was that part of the world controlled by the British Empire. No coincidence there. Right. Other than some places like India, which didn't go along with it. Anyway, four feet, eight and a half inches <laughs> became recognized as standard, standard gauge, gauge. Uh, in, in a large piece of the world. Well, we're moving on to scale now. So we talked about gauge, and this series is on gauge and scale. So now we're going to move on to scale. So what exactly is scale? Something I don't want to talk about when I'm at the doctor's office. <laughs> Climb on the scales. <laughs> we stay away from that one. Well, actually, we, we, we can digress quickly here. Do you know in Great Britain, they measure a person's weight in stone? Yeah, I can yeah. believe that. Because nobody wants to say how much they right. actually weigh. So uh, it's easy to say, well, I weigh 12.3 stone. And then nobody really knows the slightest what you're actually talking about. I'll try that the next time I'm at the doctor. <laughs> we will be coming back to stone here in just a bit, oh, as a boy. matter of fact. Um, so scale is simply the proportion when you're building a model like this, the, uh, the proportion of how much smaller is that car, is that model, is that thing than the actual thing that you're modeling. Well, I was just going to say it sort of looks like our garage, but it, other... does. <laughs> <laughs> it does look suspiciously like, like our garage. It does. So, uh, Let's address quickly what the popular scales are. But before we can do that, we have to get back to stone. Hmm. Okay. We're so, not stone. We're not stone. <laughs> 1825. The same year, not coincidentally, that standard gauge came into use, the British Empire decided to, to quantify measurements and come up with a whole series of measurements that they could say, okay, if we're going to refer to a stone as a measure of weight, what exactly is a stone? And so they went through and they quantified all of these measurements. And, and just, just for giggles, here's, here's a, a list of some of the ones they came up with, just, just for length. The twip. Isn't that what you call somebody that cuts you off on the freeway? Yeah, and Elon Musk just paid $44 billion. Oh, that's Tweet. Uh, that's that's tweet. Twit. He's, He's the Twit. No, this is Twip. The Thou. I thought that was a Christmas thing. Thou art, anyway. A, you know, the Barley Corn. The Barley Corn? The inch, okay, finally well, that, yeah, we're, we finally, finally came makes, around to something that, that we sense. recognize. That makes sense. The Hand. Right, I, I can okay, see that. Yeah, My we've, horse we've, is so many 44 We've hands. dropped the hand, but the, the hand is uh, one third of a foot. Okay. I'm glad we dropped the hand. Mm -hmm. The foot. <laughs> the foot. Now that's, that's actually probably the fundamental basis of all imperial, and, and this is called the imperial system because of the king and the queen and the empire. The, the imperial system of measurement, the foot. And where to put it. And where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> so this whole system, when you get right down to it, I mean, you can say that it's this and this and this, but what actually ended up evolving out of this is it's a measurement system based on a foot. Okay, that, that makes a sense, foot, body parts. Mm -hmm. And so the inch, 12 inches to the foot, and then the yard, we're all familiar with that, not the one in the back or the front, but three feet being a yard, mm -hmm. some lesser known chain, mm. not really in, in a lot of use, furlong mm, yeah, for, that, yeah. for we horse people, the mile, yes, yes, we're all familiar with the, the miracle mile, mile yeah. the league. And not the pure prairie, but no. the distance measurement. Under the sea. The fathom, I can't <laughs> fathom that. The cable, the nautical mile, because somehow that ended up different than the mile. The link and the rod. Yes. Now, 
being a person that at one time in, in, in one of the chapters of my life had to do a lot of work with legal descriptions, if you load up the legal description for your property and if you live in the United States of America, it will probably be listed in rods. Rods, like, huh? Uh, feet and inches. Right. So rods are, are still, very, still very much used. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we digress a bit. What does that have to do with scale? We have to get back to feet and inches. Since that sort of evolved as the fundamental system of measurement, well, as people started building models, it's like, okay, so how many feet to the foot should my model be? Mm -hmm. I'm going to shrink down my reality. So <laughs> if I've got, you know, if my prototype is a, <laughs> I hate that shrinking reality. <laughs> It's not that, it's just that it's cold outside. Okay, we digress. Um, let's get back to the cars. Let's get back to the cars. <laughs> so if, if we're building a, a model of a car, and let's say this car is 16 feet long, and we just want to shrink it down to make it into a, a, a sizable, you know, a, a smaller model. Something I can afford. Something we can afford. <laughs> Afford, afford, afford. Uh, um, the easiest way to shrink that is to just make it one inch equals one foot. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's a scale representation. And because of the, the imperial system of the foot and the inch, that ends up being the sort of fundamental scale around which all things are designed. One inch equals one foot. Okay. Another way of expressing that would be to simply say one inch scale. Oh, there you go. Another way of saying that would be one twelfth scale. Oh. Because the model is one twelfth one the 12. size, because one to twelve, proportion of one to twelve, mm -hmm. one inch equals a foot, one twelfth scale. Mm. That's a pretty good sized car. If that were a model yeah, here, right. it'd be somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since that is the basis of all scale modeling, the one inch scale, but we want, a, we want a variety of scales. Right. The next size down from that would be, well, let's just divide that in half. Okay, that's so easy. So one twelfth scale becomes one twenty-fourth scale, which is probably the most popular scale for models. We'll just hold it. This is a one twenty-fourth scale car. If it were twice this size, it would be a 1 12th scale. So these standard scales became standardized because of the imperial measurement system all the way down to the twip. Not the twit. That's where <laughs> Tesla came from, <laughs> boys and girls. Which is another car. And anyway. Another subject. <laughs> so what if we were to divide this scale in half? So half of this would be 148, 148 scale. scale. Right. If this is one half inch to the foot, 148 scale is one quarter of an inch to the foot. Mm. Hmm. Boy, these numbers are sounding really familiar. That would be O scale on our railroads. Uh would be 148th. We don't have a 148th scale model here, but we do have one right over there. So this is a 148th scale model. Mm. What if we subdivide that further? Ooh. What's uh, what's half of 48th what's scale? Of That's 96th, right? 96, 48, yep. Now, not a lot of people have modeled automobiles in 96th <laughs> scale, because we're getting, we're getting quite small right at that size okay however <laughs> that is one of the definitive scales for people who build model ships because you know a ship uh-huh if there's a ship out in the yard holy ship that's a big thing to have out in your yard yeah. so if you're going to put that on the mantelpiece you need to shrink it a lot and 196 has been a very very pop because 12 inches to the foot, and we right. just keep subdividing. Subdividing right? it, wow. Okay, well, what if we want something in between those two things? So halfway between 48 and 24, 
is 32. Okay. One thirty-second scale. Ah. Another somewhat popular yeah. railroad scale. Right. And so it goes. If we subdivide this in half, comes out to 76th scale, I believe. Comes out to this size right here. The Hot Wheel size. The Hot Wheel size. Hmm. So all these different scales, and when we start figuring it out, they're all based on imperial scales. I see. Going all the way back to 1825, when the British government declared these scales and also declared a standard railroad Wait, well, You guys let me just look on the bottom to see what the heck it is. Yeah. It is a Malaysia. 176, I believe, is the scale. It says it's a 67 Shelby. It's a 67 Shelby uh -huh. for certain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, In I In fact, there's, there's, this one's parked right over there, only it's somewhat bigger. Uh-huh, that one's Because that one, one we can on drive one. around. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. This one we have to just pretend. That's our. That's the, That's what we look at. 138 when we scale. 138 scale. Oh, really? That's not 132nd. No. I thought it was 132nd. 138 scale, it says. Okay. Oh. Slight cheat there. Well, maybe it's the bumpers. Now, as we all know, in the 1960s, the world started shifting over to the metric system. Oh, boy. And, you know, 100 millimeters equals 100 millimeters. So if you're going to do models there, instead of making everything divisible by 12 mm. or some derivative of 12, like 6 mm -hmm. or 18 or something, then um, just keeping everything in tens. Mm -hmm. But oddly enough, those scales really haven't taken off. One 300th scale. I mean, yes, some of the little tiny ones <laughs> have taken off. One right. tenth scale. It's done a little bit. One twentieth right. scale. That well, our yeah, whole railroad is, is pretty scale. much built to just, just a tweak over that. And there's a mm -hmm. reason for that. Anyway, for the most part, understanding scales just how much are we going to shrink reality, it's very interesting to understand that all of these numbers are derived from the old imperial system from 1825. Isn't that interesting? That's fine. That's fine. I think that's very interesting. Of course. So <laughs> I'm still going to peek underneath to see what it is, because I like that size. Isn't that neat? Ooh. That should be a 124th scale. So 2007. It's right there, 124th scale. Yep, it's a 124 So that's, scale. that is, again, the most popular size for automobile models. And the doors open. Of Except Check some of them, out. for some reason, ended up 125th scale. And if you can tell the difference, you're doing better than I am. Anyway, <laughs> if you haven't been over to the channel, get on over to the channel. If you feel like supporting... Whoa! <laughs> If you feel like supporting the channel financially, you can become a member by clicking the join button. Otherwise, you can click the subscribe button. Or if you just want to subscribe at the end of this video, coming up right now comes the subscribe button. Are we ready for it? Not the... Not the... Dismember button. Not the dismember <laughs> button. Let's not do that. The subscribe button. You ready for it? Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it too boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with some Sunday foolishness. <laughs> see you. We'll see you. Bye-bye.